Right now, the Outback Bowl Parade is getting underway in Ybor City. You see the fans there. They're celebrating before the showdown between Penn State and the Florida Gators. Well, today, Brad Davis caught up with the Gator fan favorite and Tampa resident known as Mr. Two Bits. Welcome to the home of George Edmondson. Hey, 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 but for years, That's Florida really Field good, seemed like the oh, home to the Bye. man known to as Mr. Two Bits. It's something that happened in my lifetime that I never would imagined. It, it just developed. It wasn't planned. It just happened. George has many fond memories from his years leading cheers, but in 2008, he knew it was time to hang up the yellow shirt, gator stripe tie, whistle, and sign. I felt like that it was time to step aside. The university presented George with this unique gift on his final performance day at Florida Field. Sixty amazing years of unbridled spirit, loyalty, and commitment as the Florida Gators' greatest cheerleader. And when that was presented to me at midfield in front of 90,000 fans, chills run up and down my back even today when I'm thinking about it through it all mr. two bits has remained humble all the notoriety down through the years uh, has has overwhelmed me at 88 years of age Georgia watched the Outback Bowl on TV with his beloved Gators close to his heart not being able to attend this game made me sad but uh, I'll be glad when the game starts. I'll get, I'll get pepped up. Mr. Two Bits may no longer roam the stadium, but he has this parting message for the Gator Nation. Two bits, four bits, six bits a dollar. All for the Gators. Stand up and holler. Yeah. No Gators. Well done, George. In Tampa, Brad Davis, ABC Action News. George, you have still got it. And don't forget to join us for our special post-game coverage of the Outback Bowl and Florida coach Urban Meyer's final game. That's right after ABC's coverage of the Outback Bowl on New Year's Day.